To write the net ionic equation for Zn plus CuSO4, that's zinc plus copper sulfate, first thing we do is we balance the molecular equation. This is called the molecular equation, and it looks like it's already balanced. We have the same number of zinc, copper, sulfur, and oxygen atoms on each side. So the molecular equation is balanced. Next thing we do is we write the total ionic equation. So we have zinc, which is a solid, plus this copper sulfate, CuSO4. It's a neutral molecule. There's no charge out here. And we know we can look up the SO4, the sulfate, on a table of polyatomic ions. That has a 2 minus charge. Because this has a 2 minus, copper has to have a 2 plus. So we have Cu2 plus, and that's aqueous. It's dissolved in water, plus the SO4, the sulfate ion, 2 minus. That's also aqueous. On the product side of the equation, our sulfate, that's 2 minus, so the zinc, 2 plus. So we have Zn2 plus, which is aqueous, plus that sulfate ion, 2 minus, also aqueous. And then we have solid copper. So this is called the total ionic equation. Finally, we write the net ionic equation. For the net ionic equation, we're going to cross out anything that appears on both sides of the equation. So we have our zinc solid. That's a zinc 2 plus aqueous. That's different. Cu2 plus is now Cu. That's different. But the SO4 2 minus aqueous, the sulfate ion, that's the same on both sides. So we just cross that out. And now we can write our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for Zn plus CuSO4 yields ZnSO4 plus Cu. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.